hey there, internet. I'm sorry to tell you, slash disappoint you, slash maybe overjoy you, that despite the fact that I am currently holding food in my hands and about to eat it, this is not breakfast with Johnny. No, 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 I said it's not breakfast with Johnny. Stop doing that, whoever you are. I'm not eating breakfast, this is my lunch. Hence the fact that it's soup and carrots. I'm not that weird. Though to be fair, I do normally eat a banana for breakfast and then an apple for lunch, but today I decided to live it up and have a banana for breakfast and lunch. So maybe that's why this person who is editing these videos is confused. Just kidding, I edit these. That was a stupid gag and I don't know why I'm wasting time with it because the whole point of this is I'm in a hurry. Though I have discovered, oddly enough, in my past two attempts at making breakfast, making that one show that shall go unnamed henceforth in this episode, I've learned in making those videos who shall not be named, that I often take more time just making an episode with breakfast. It's so hard not to say the name of your show. I just dropped my spoon into the soup. I am very, very disappointed with myself right now. <sighs> Anyway, normally it takes longer than just eating breakfast and then making a video. That's what I'm trying to say. My life is in shambles right now, and not just because my soup spoon is now in my soup. Side note on the subject of soup spoons, I despise them. I'm talking like the bigger, flatter spoons that you're supposed to use to be able to like scoop the soup into your mouth. They're bad. They don't fit in your mouth right. I greatly prefer using like regular eating spoons, and I will continue to do so until the day I die, or until I am no longer in control of my faculties and someone feeds me soup and they do so with a soup spoon not knowing my wishes. Maybe I should put that in my living will. I think that's what a living will is. I really have no idea. Anyway, I actually had something I wanted to talk about and because I've wasted so much time, I'm gonna jump straight to the point. I have been learning recently how to trust people when they say that they trust me with a certain level of responsibility. You see, I'm one of those people who despite knowing and saying that yes, I have a fair amount of talent slash ability and I'm blessed with that. I don't remember how that sentence started so I don't know how to continue it grammatically, but even though I know that, I often fail to live like I know that it's true. I get really psyched out and I think that I'll never be able to do anything and that I'm inevitably going to fail at something when someone like gives me a task. And as a result, sometimes I actually end up doing poorly because I'm so busy worrying about how I'm going to do on the thing that I don't just actually do with the abilities that I have and that that person recognizes I have, thus them giving me the responsibility. You see, every year my church puts on this giant Christmas production called Living Christmas Trees. I've talked about it before and I have been directly involved with it for like 19 years of my life. For the three years prior to that, I was in directly involved with it because my family was involved with it, I was just too little to do anything except like go, wow, this is so cool, as I watched it from the audience. Now I drop soup in my lap. I am a hot mess today. Actually, I'm a cold mess because I'm very cold, but you know what I mean. Anyway, long story short, my role has changed this year where I am now in charge of the video production because that's my job at the church. And I am terrified of that because this is a two hour and 15 minute live drama and action and like choreo choreographed, that's choreography? How do you say that? Yeah, that's the word. And last night was dress rehearsal and tonight is the first show and I'm just kind of like, I did so bad last night even though I probably didn't do all that bad and I'm just kind of scared. But my predecessor in the job was there in the booth last night. He's helping me and he says, hey, I think you can do it and you did a pretty good job for your first run through of this. And so I guess on some level, I just have to listen and say, okay, if you trust me, then I'm gonna trust you trusting me and therefore trust myself and just take the responsibility and this opportunity and run with it. And of course that means that I have to be willing to accept the consequences if I do poorly in the end, but it's silly to assume I'm going to do poorly at the very beginning because that's just kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you'll excuse me, I have to edit this whole mess of a thing and then I have to go do a bunch of things to get ready for the show and then I have to do the show. So just had like a panicky freeze brain fart attack. And I dropped my spoon in the soup again. Fortunately, there's not really any soup left in there. Also, yes, in case you're wondering, I do in fact microwave things in Tupperware, and I guess maybe that means I'm gonna have cancer, but I don't wanna get another bowl dirty. Until next week, deuces. Mm -hmm.